Hey friends, this is Pankaj and welcome to AIM tutorial. In this video, we will see how you can modify a navigation button and at the end of this video, we will also see a difference between overlay and sling resource merger. Let's go to the AIM instance. This is my AIM and let's go to the navigation. This is my navigation console and these are my navigation buttons. In AIM, the UI is based on a set of nodes in the JCI repository and these nodes reside in the lips folder. Let's go to the lips folder, go to the CXD and now go to the lips. Let's see where all these button resides of navigation. Go to the lips, go to the CQ and now go to the core. Within the core, we have this content folder and this is my navigation. These, so these are all the nodes which you can see in this navigation console, project, sites, assets, etc. And in this video, we will modify the sites by the name of websites. So let's see how you can do this. I will use the concept of string source merger here. So go to the CXD and now go to the sites and right click here and click on overlay node. So this is the path of the sites and the location where I will overlay is the apps. Now check this match node types and click on OK. And it will now create the same structure in the apps folder. So let's go to the apps folder and within the apps, go to the CQ. Let's find out where it is. Uh, let me refresh this. Now go to the apps folder. Within the apps, yo, here you can see we have this CQ folder and within this we have core content and we have this nav node we have this nav node and this is a sites node so all these are anti unstructured and now what i want to do i want to change the title of the sites now the title of the sites is is the sites its name is size now i want to change it so what i will do i will go to the apps folder within this sites i will create a property jsi title and name it as websites click on add and save this so using this way we we don't have to overlay or copy the whole structure we had copied only the structure with the type as unstructured and we are changing only the node which i want to change and nothing else so go to the am and this is a navigation click on refresh go to the am navigation console here you can see we have changed the name of the sites with the new name called websites so here we change the name of this node using the concept of sling resource merger. So now let's see what is the difference between sling resource merger and uh, overlay. So, so the first difference is overlay is based on search path that is apps and lips. The AM uses a search path to find a resource searching first the apps branch first and then the lips branch. So your newly copied components under apps gets priority over the lips. Whereas the sling resource merger is based on the resource type hierarchy. And the second difference is while using overlay, we need to copy the whole subtree and all of its properties. But in the case of sling resource merger, we only need to extend within an almost empty structure. We had only primary type as unstructured and, and we don't need to copy anything else. And in the overlay, all the properties are duplicated. So, and whereas in sling source merger, only required properties are overlaid. So in the my example, we overlaid, I overlaid only JCR title because that is the only property that I wanted to change. But in case of overlay, it will copy all the properties. And this is the way how overlays work. So, so using this sling source merger, we reduces the structure that is replicated from lips. And also we know never to modify lips folder. We need a way to make the change in apps only. This is where the sling source merger comes in. I hope you got the concept of sling source merger and its difference with overlay. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel, like this video and share this with your friends. Thanks again for watching.